what are the defenses that can be taken in an infringement suit there are provisions in the patents act which tells us that certain acts do not amount to infringement for instance patents used on a foreign vessel the use of an invention will not amount to infringement if a patent is used in the body of a vessel or on board or on the construction or working of the vessel aircraft or land vehicle and that land vehicle enters the indian territory for a brief period of time so these acts the fact that a vessel or an aircraft or a land vehicle that came into india as a part of a transit the fact that the vessel or the aircraft or the land vehicle had a patented part it coming into the territory of india will not be deemed as infringement this works under the principle of reciprocity another act or set of acts which do not amount to infringement are what is popularly called the bolar exemption now submission of a sample for regulatory purposes a manufacturer submits a sample of a patented product for getting approvals so that when the patent expires the manufacturer can involve or engage in large scale production all those acts with go with the intent of seeking regulatory approval will not amount to infringement so if there is a drug which will expire in 2019 and the drug is patented by a company another company which wants to enter the market after the expiry of the drug may approach the drug regulatory authority in india for get seeking approval regulatory approval so that when the patent expires it can launch the product now such acts of submitting samples for getting regulatory approval even if that be for a patented product will not amount to infringement pharmaceutical research is largely covered by this provision another provision which says that certain acts will not amount to infringement is the provision of parallel importation in india we follow the principle of international exhaustion of patent rights patented goods sold by the patentee then the patentee will not have any further control over it so if the good is sold in china and the goods are patented there and a person buys the patented product from china for by paying lawful consideration and he imports that product into india even if there is a patent in india it will not amount to infringement because the consideration for that product has already be paid been paid in another jurisdiction so a patentee normally will not have control post sale once he sells the product then resale is not something which is within the control of the patentee so india allows international exhaustion meaning which if the first sale happens in a foreign jurisdiction it cannot be stopped from entering india because the consideration has already been paid like bolar exemption parallel importation will not amount to infringement